Hello everybody and welcome. So the premise here is I've seen quite a few people ask, well why are the vertices that I see in Godot different to what I see in Blender? So if we have a look at the blend file for this particular model, down in the lower right we've got a uh, vertices count of 226. And obviously when we go over into uh, Godot and have a look at that, we've got 2688. There's a bit of a difference there. Now it's got nothing to do with the materials applied and it has nothing to do with anything else in the scene. This is the only thing in the scene. If I grab my camera, uh, which I have grabbed here and just rotate it out of view, we will see uh, that the vertices drawn will disappear. I've rotated it annoyingly the wrong way. So down to zero and if I rotate it back up so the camera then can see any part of the model, suddenly the vertices drawn jumps up to 2000. 688. But where does that number come from? It's really annoying and I I was scratching my head for quite a while but I've worked it out and so I want to share that information with you so hopefully this will knock on the head finally that question. Why is this different? Well it is relatively straightforward and I'll guide you through the process. So when you're exporting a model from Blender into a game engine, it will be triangulated naturally. Now, usually when you make a model, you try and keep it in quads so you can select edge loops, face loops, and it makes your general modeling easier. I've put on these funky colors, by the way, just to show you that materials aren't actually affecting this. So, how can we emulate what's going on? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the file that I've exported, the one we can see in Godot. That's the first thing I want to do because if we have a look at how this looks over in Windows, then we will see under the stats and shading that the triangle count and the vertices count is different once again. So it can be very confusing if you're not careful. Where is all of this coming from? So first of all, let's go ahead, open up a brand new blend file, and I'm going to import the same file that we're seeing in both Windows and Godot. So that's here. So here's our model, comes back in, but when we go into edit mode, we can see that it has been triangulated. So that was the first clue. Oh, okay, if the mesh is being triangulated, that is going to cause a difference. And here we see the vertex count is 394. We go over into Windows, and we can see that now these numbers match with num one another. We've got 448 triangles and 394 vertices, but that still doesn't match up with what Godot has. If we have a look over at Godot, we can see it's still massively out. And I tried dividing these numbers and I couldn't come up with why that's happening. But what is happening over in Blender is if we were to separate each one of these triangles out onto their own individual special place, then we can start seeing a difference. So let's go over into the UV editor. This might help explain just a little bit better what's going on and why it is different over in Godot. So if I select all of my model, press U to unwrap and just unwrap the model. Now it doesn't matter how it comes out at the moment, we're going to be playing with that in a bit. Now all of these are joined together somehow, so if we go ahead and click, let's say, this large section here, which is probably the bottom, and move it around, we see that it's connected to the other vertices that are in our world. But that's not how Godot sees this. Godot sees all of these as individuals. So what we can go ahead and do is separate all of these out. The quickest way that I can think to do that is to use an edge split modifier set to zero and apply it, oh, which we can't do in edit mode. Let's apply that. And now each one of these is its own little individual piece that we can pull out, which also means that over in the UV editor, if we go to the UV editor and pack the islands, each one of them is individual and we can really see that by just separating them all out. So now we've separated everything all out, we've got a number of 1,344 vertices. 1,344, 2,688. Well, one's half of the other. So we're very close. Why do we have double the amount? Well, in Godot, there are two UV layers by default, UV0 and UV1. If we went over into our mesh object here and had a look at the surface details, we've got material applied to it. We go into that material and we can see we've got UV1 and UV2. That is why we have double the amount here. 
Okay, guys, so in summary, it's math time. So in general, if you wanted to make sure that you know how many you're going to see over in Godot, take your triangle count over in Blender, which is 448. Now, there are three vertices for every triangle, so we times that number by three. And there are two UV layers, so finally we times it by two. And there's our magical number, 2,688, which we can see over here. Okay, that about wraps that up. I hope that clears a few of these niggles up that people have when they're looking and wondering what's going on. So there we go. I hope you found that informative. If you have, toss a like on the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.